The first step in creating the man is to double the size of our cube. Let's press S to enter to double the size. Let's go into edit mode by pressing tab. Make sure that you have face select mode enabled. Let's click on the top face and let's press three in the numeric keypad to the right to go into right orthographic projection. Let's click on the move tool and now holding the control key, let's move this blue arrow down. Notice that we should have a height of one cell. Let's press tab again to go into object mode. Let's click on the move tool once again. And now holding the control key, let's move this blue arrow up until our cube is exactly above ground. Now notice that the axis of rotation has moved away from the object. So we need to go into object, set origin, and select origin to center mass, volume. Let's press seven in the numeric keypad to go into the top orthographic projection. We need to duplicate this cube to create an arm. Let's press shift D and then enter. Holding the control key and the red arrow, let's drag it to the left. We need to make it a lot thinner. So let's press S to scale, then point to X and then press enter. that would scale our object in the X axis by 20%. Now, let's use this red arrow to drag it to the right, close to the previous shape, maybe a little bit closer. Let's press Shift D, Enter to duplicate it. And then with the red arrow, let's drag it to the right to create the right arm. Now let's press Shift D, Enter to duplicate it, and let's use the green arrow to drag it down, and then the red arrow, drag it to the left. Shift D, Enter, and then we use the red arrow to drag it to the left, and now we have the two legs. Let's add a new UV sphere. Let's do Shift A, add mesh, and select UV sphere. Let's use the green arrow to drag it up. And now let's double the size by pressing S to enter. We are going to use the green arrow to drag it down exactly above the body. And now let's right click on it. Let's go to Object and select Shade Smooth. Let's add another uh, UV sphere with Shift A, Add Mesh UV Sphere. Let's drag it up with the green arrow. And let's press three in the numeric keypad. And using the blue arrow, we are going to move it up. Let's shrink its size by about half. So S.5, enter. Let's go to object and select shade smooth. Using the blue arrow, let's drag it a little bit lower and let's press seven in the numeric keypad to go into the top orthographic projection. Using the red arrow, we can drag it to the left. 
Let's pick a color for this eye. Click on the texture or material properties. Click on new and then click on the base color to pick the color of your preference. I'm going to pick yellow. Notice that we don't see any changes on the viewport and that is because we need to click on viewport shading and select render mode. Let's go ahead and duplicate this UV sphere with shift D, enter. And with the red arrow, we can drag it to the right. Let's go ahead and save our work with Control S to save it and make sure that you are in the proper folder. You are going to double click on Untitle. Do not remove the dot blend extension. You are going to call Blender Men. You can also add your first and last name if needed and then click on Save Blender File. Let's add a mouth. We are going to press Shift A, add mesh, and select torus. With the red arrow, we are going to drag it left. Let's add a cube. Shift A, add mesh, cube. With the red arrow, we are going to drag it to the left. And then with the green arrow, we are going to move it up. Let's double the size of this cube with S as in Sam, two, and then enter. Using the green arrow, we are going to drag this cube down so that it covers half of the torus. We can orbit by holding the mouse wheel to make sure that our torus is half outside and half inside the cube. Let's rename this cube by pressing on this square to the right called Object Properties. And let's change the name to Cube Delete. That will make our work a lot easier later on when we need to reference this cube. Click on the torus once again, and let's go to Object and select Shade Smooth. Click on the object modifier and click on add modifier, boolean. Make sure that the operation is set to difference and then under object, you are going to select cube delete. Click on apply. And using the green arrow, you are moving away from the cube. Click on the cube and press X as in X-ray to delete it. Let's press 7 to go into the top orthographic projection. Click on our half torus and using the green arrow, we are going to move it up. And with the red arrow, we are going to drag it inside the sphere. We are going to press 3 to go into the right orthographic projection and with the blue arrow, we are going to move it up so that it now is visible. We can press seven to go into top orthographic projection. And let's add a material. Click on material, click on new, and then click on the base color to pick any color you like. Proceed to add other colors to the different objects. Going to Material, click on New, Base Color, and pick the color of your preference. Now notice what happens if I try to change the color of the body. I click on Material, then I click on the Base Color, and when I select the color, notice that it changes for all the other objects too. And that is because we created the arms and the legs by duplicating the body. 
In order to unlink the color, we need to click on this number five or whatever number we have to the right of the material. And now it's going to create a new material. Let's click on the base color once again. And notice that if we change the color, now it changes independently of the previous colors. Let's press zero to go into the camera view. Let's press N and let's click on view. Let's click on the lock camera to view. Make sure that it is checked. That will allow us to control the camera. We can zoom out by using the mouse wheel or by pressing minus in the numeric keypad to the right. We can also orbit by holding the mouse wheel to correctly position our men. Later on, we are ready to render. So we can click on render and render image. The problem is that we don't have enough lining. Let's click on this lamp and let's press three in the numeric keypad. We can move it a little higher and more to the right. Let's press shift D and then enter, and let's press seven in the numeric keypad. Now with the red arrow, we can drag it to the left. So now we have more light, and now shift D, enter, and with the green arrow, we can drag it down, shift D, enter, and with the red arrow, we can drag it to the right. Let's press zero once again, and notice that now we have a lot more light. We can proceed to render. It is always a good idea to save our work with Control S before rendering. That is because the rendering process uses a lot of computer resources and Blender may crash for very, very large scenes. So we click on Render, Render Image. Once our render image appears, we can save it by going to image and then save as. We can save it as either a PNG or a JPEG file. 